All right, scholars, we are back. And yes, we are still talking about our earth. I'm just going to give it a hug. I'm just going to give it a hug. Yes, I am. I'm going to give it a hug. Why? Because it is an amazing place and I love it. I'm so glad that we're here. This is our planet, the blue planet. Remember, we call the earth the blue planet because of the amount of water that it has. It's almost 75% water. That is an estimation. So it's not an exact number. So for all of you that are going to wiki, Wiki to get the exact number. I'm not quoting the exact number. I'm giving you an estimation, which is an approximate number of the amount of water that is on our amazing planet. Well, how does the Earth move? That's what we're talking about today because the Earth is moving. These, the Earth is moving. Did you know right now? Right, You don't know it. You might know it. But if you don't know it, right now, we are spinning at a very, very, very fast pace. Now, you can't feel it. So you might not know it, but there are observable things that we can see that give us evidence to the fact that we're moving. Yes, I'm sitting in a chair, but we're moving. Yes, I'm sitting in a building, but the building is moving too. Oh my God, are you serious, Mr. Washington? Yes, I am. We are moving, scholars. It's crazy and amazing all at the same time. How are we moving and how do we know? Well, this is a globe. When I was growing up, these were very popular. Now that you are here, globes are not as popular. Matter of fact, some of you might not even know what this is. This is an, a wonderful tool that we use that is called a globe. Globes can show us the locations of different continents. We can see the locations of our oceans. We can see things like some of the cities that are off in there and some of the mountain ranges, and we can see where rivers are located. This is a wonderful tool. You should get closely acquainted with your globe. Globes are important. But globes also do something else because globes also show us one of the movements that the Earth makes. And one of the movements that the Earth makes is called a rotation. Can you believe it is called a rotation? Have you ever seen anybody grab a basketball and spin it on their finger? And the basketball is spinning? Well, that basketball is making the same movement that the Earth is making. I know it's crazy, but it's true. We are rotating, and I'm going to prove it. We are rotating just like this. That's what the earth does. That's what the earth does. That's what the earth does. Now, let's say that we were in, let's go to Africa this time. Let's say that we decide to take a trip to Africa. There we are. And we come to Africa. Where do we want to go in Africa? Let's go to Morocco. Morocco. You have to roll your R's when you say Morocco. Anytime you say Morocco, it's got to be Morocco. Morocco. Just like that. Yes, just like that. Morocco. We are in Morocco. And <laughs> there you are. You made it to Morocco safely. Your plane landed. It was an awesome trip. 12 hours in the air, right? Now, when we're in Morocco or wherever we are on the planet, the earth is constantly making this rotation. Now, here's what you have to think. We're going to imagine for a moment. We're going to imagine that uh, I should have got a flashlight, but imagine that my head is the sun and the sun is over here. And this light is shining, this light is shining, this light is shining, but the earth is rotating. And what it appears, that's why we call it, we call it the apparent movement of the sun. As this earth is rotating, it appears like the sun is setting, we say going down sometimes, but it, it, we use another terminology called setting. But in reality, what is happening is, you can actually use this light from up there because on the back side of this, we have a shadow. On the front side of this, we have the light. So as the, the light is shining on the globe right here, or on the earth, the earth is rotating, rotating. And right now you are officially on the back side of this. Now think about it. All the light is up here. You see how all of that is bright? Well, back here we have a shadow. So everyone who's back here is experiencing what we call nighttime. Everyone who is up here is experiencing what we call daytime. And it's a 24 hour period of time. We have 12 hours of light and we have 12 hours of darkness. And we call this the day night cycle. Day and night are not caused because the sun is moving. No, day and night are actually caused because the earth is moving. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate it. And we're going to call it out right here. So here we are. We're right here. We're right here. We're right here. We're right here. Now this would be sunrise. And we can count one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then it starts over. Now it's nighttime, and we would go one, two o'clock, three, four, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it just continues to go over and over and over and over. And depending on where you are, depends on when the sunrise. So we'll have a sunrise probably around 7 o'clock here. So this would be 7 a.m. This will be 7 p.m. And it would just continue going over and over and over. And all of that is happening because the earth is rotating on its axis. Now, what is an axis? You notice that the earth is tilted a little bit. We're not straight up like this. The earth is actually tilted at 23.5 degrees and it's tilted on an imaginary line called an axis. And we can see that represented right here and right here at the top. So there's this imaginary line that the earth rotates on called an axis. And it rotates on this axis every 24 hours. And that's how you and me and everybody else on the planet has daytime and nighttime. I know it's crazy, but it's true, yes. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a globe. Once you find a globe in your school, become acquainted with your globe, learn about a globe, and I want you to place yourself somewhere on your globe. I want you to place yourself somewhere on your globe. And I want you to get a flashlight and I want you to shine it. And then I want you to explain to someone else, whether you're at home or wherever you are, explain to someone else the day-night cycle. Explain to them how when the earth is rotating and this light is shining, explain to them how at some point it's daytime and if you rotate to the back side of the earth that it would be nighttime you've got to be able to explain it i can't do it for you i'm not there i'm not there so how is day night caused it is caused by the rotation of the earth on its axis that's all we're talking about it is caused by the rotation of the earth on its axis the earth is an amazing planet an amazing planet and we are fortunate to be here. We have to take care of our planet. We have to love our planet. And we have to learn about our planet. Because it's much easier to respect things that you know about. It's much easier to respect things that you know are special. And we live in a very special place. We will be back on soon with more amazing science. Have a great day, scholars. Talk to you soon.